face of pro-government forces firing on Houthi positions west of Marib in Yemen. The region, which is rich in oil and gas, has become a flashpoint. It's the last northern stronghold of Yemen's Saudi-backed government. But the rebels, allied with Iran, have stepped up their offensive to take over this territory. Some observers say the move appears to be motivated in part to gain strategic leverage in any future peace negotiations. The UN has warned that the fighting here could put two million civilians at risk. It's calling for de-escalation to avoid unimaginable humanitarian consequences. This area is already home to camps hosting hundreds of thousands of people who've been displaced over the course of the civil war that started more than six years ago. The local aid group running this facility in Marib says hundreds of internally displaced people have arrived in recent days. There's little they can offer. Off camera, a woman says, tell them how we are living. The situation is very hard. There is nothing, no gas, no toilets, nothing. We hope that displaced people will not be targeted because it results in many huge humanitarian problems and burdens that neither us nor the government can deal with. One more tragedy on the horizon for the Yemeni people who've already endured so much. This war has to end. And to underscore our commitment, we are ending all American support for offensive operations in the war in Yemen, including relevant arms sales. In Joe Biden's first foreign policy speech as commander in chief, he outlined a stark shift on US policy towards Yemen. Over the course of the war, the US has sold billions of dollars worth of weapons to the Saudi-led coalition that backs the internationally recognized Yemeni government. Biden's administration says diplomacy is now the key. It wants to see the restoration of peace talks. It hasn't said whether it will encourage allies like the UK to stop their arms sales to the Saudis. The State Department is also revoking the terrorist designation applied to the Houthis during Donald Trump's last days in office. That move means much needed aid deliveries for civilians can get through. And that's crucial because most of the population lives in areas under Houthi control. But at the same time that the US and the UN are pushing for a lasting political solution, the rebels have also stepped up drone attacks on Saudi soil. It makes the already complex task of bringing all of the relevant parties to the negotiating table even more complicated. I think, you know, our hope is that a combined effort bringing in certain partners at certain times, backed with a strong, very strong American position, will, um, will essentially shake up the architecture and put us in a much better place to push for that um, negotiated settlement, which I think we all agree is the only way forward. The alternative for Yemen's people is unthinkable. Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.